The Denver Broncos lose another ugly game and two more starters to injury. Hello everyone and welcome to Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host Gage Madrid coming at you with a phone recording to get you this Denver Broncos breaking news. The Denver Broncos lost yet another ugly game 12-9 in overtime to the Indianapolis Colts last night on Thursday Night Football. At the end of the day, this loss boils down to Russell Wilson's poor performance as well as more questionable offensive play calling. Russell Wilson was consistently inaccurate, he missed reads, especially on the final play of the game, and he threw two ugly interceptions, the last of which basically put us in position to go to overtime. Had Russ not thrown that interception, the Broncos could have kicked a field goal and would have gone up 12-6 over the Colts with just over two minutes left in the game. This was easily Russell Wilson's worst game as a Bronco, and he's definitely going to have to play better. Making the pain from this loss even worse, it was announced this morning that two key Denver Broncos players are going to be out for the rest of the season with injuries. Left tackle Garrett Bowles ended up breaking his leg in the fourth quarter after he got rolled up on. He had to get carted off the field, and you could see his visible frustration as he was getting carted off. You knew that it wasn't going to be a good look for him. On top of that, the Broncos got a bit of a nasty surprise this morning as an MRI revealed that Ronald Darby tore his ACL last night. Darby was pulled from the game in the third quarter, but he was seen walking around on the sidelines after he was injured. So hopefully, for Darby's sake, it was just a clean ACL tear and there's no other ligament damage involved. Losing Bulls and Darby are absolute killers for us. Bowles was quite frankly our only offensive lineman that was playing at at least an average level, and Ronald Darby had secretly been playing some of his best football this season. It's an absolute shame to lose those guys, and our depth is really going to be tested. At corner, rookie Damari Mathis is going to take Darby's spot at the right boundary corner position, and at left tackle, although Calvin Anderson did fill in for Garrett Bowles towards the end of the game, Coach Hackett said that the team is still evaluating their options there. I could see the team possibly bringing in a free agent like Eric Fisher to maybe help compensate for Garrett Bowles' loss at left tackle. A really rough day for us Broncos country. We're coming off one of the worst losses that I've seen the Broncos take in quite frankly a long time. And on top of that, we lose two of our best players. The injuries on top of the loss really just rub salt into the wound. We have 10 days to stew over this one before we face Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers week six on Monday Night Football. The Broncos are sitting at two and three entering this game. And if they're gonna wanna turn their season around, it has to start start against the Chargers, otherwise it's not going to happen. Alright Broncos country, what is your long term outlook on the team after last night's game? I know for me personally, although things seem like doom and gloom right now, we are still 2-3, and three. we do have a chance to turn things around, but it's going to take a lot of work to get that done. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. And while you're at it, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Gage Madrid NFL for even more Broncos coverage. And for now, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out and let's ride.